Okay, it's plugged in, and let's um, let's go over the different features once it's actually turned on. Now, first, before I even start with that, I want to tell you something about this iPod. Uh, this is actually the second one I got from the store. I went to Target, fortunately, because their return policy is fantastic, much better than the Apple Store, way better. Um, the first one I got of these, I brought it home, I was all excited about it, and I took it out of the, um, the little box, and I started screwing with it, and not only was the wheel, um, the touch wheel, not um, working very right, very well, but um, uh, pressing around it and pressing on the different parts of it, it made a, for lack of a better term, a crunching noise and it was ill-fitting this little strip of plastic that's punched out and I don't know put on here in some whatever way um, it just didn't fit it was too big and it was rubbing and it was awful and also there was this thing here on the screen that uh, excuse my music by the way some of it uh, I would get killed in some parts of the world for listening to it but um, uh, the, the screen was a little bit off and the battery was completely dead when I got it. And these days, no item, a technological item, ships with a completely dead battery. They all have lithium batteries, and they're usually at least partially charged when you get them. So it was totally fucked up. I took it back to the store. They looked at it, and they said, yeah, this thing is messed up. Um, and uh, so if you get one like that, take it back. This one's much better. There should be no crunching here. Uh, it should be perfectly fitting. There should This should be a black water. There should be no sort of screen being off or askew or anything like that and I would think the battery should not be dead when you get it maybe it was returned maybe I, I don't know who knows but um, so this one's fine that's first off you gotta get a good one I think there are some I've heard reports that the, some of the apples are not perfect so when you turn this one on that's connected because the battery um, first off uh, the, the sound on this is better actually in my opinion than the iPod it comes with uh, SRS Wow it's called which is a um, sur uh, sort of a faux surround sound some people don't like it I think it enhances the music uh, this does not come with that um, the, the sound is better through the same headphones the sound on this is better um, however the user interface fucking blows it is awful uh, it doesn't have the click wheel. Fine, I'm cool with that. Thirty bucks versus one fifty. I, I can I can do without the click wheel. But look at the cheesy. Um, let's see if I can zoom in on that. It's no, I can't. It's just utterly cheesy. I don't know if this is like Chinese design or what. But um, okay, so you go through here. Uh, it has some of the things. It has voice recorder. It comes with a microphone. The iPod does not. You have to buy it separately. Uh, that's to play whatever you record. It comes with an FM radio, which the Zune does. The iPod does not, unless you buy another thing. Uh, let's see. Photos, fine. Setup, ebook, uh, worthless, utterly worthless application. Uh, it, it, uh, let's even see. And uh, you'll see my fingers doing stuff. Um, y again, uh, it's just a very strange interface. Sometimes menu is what you need to select something. Sometimes the center button is. Like here, menu is. Uh, if I hit center button, oh no, center button was for this. Okay, I don't know why it just went back there. Uh, see, are you going to really read stuff like that? It doesn't even have word wrap. It just well, it wraps the like the last couple letters. There's no hyphenation. It's just meaningless. Um, so I think you press and hold that to get back to the main menu. Okay, good. Ebook game got some weak ass games um, pretty meaningless okay you're not interested in that you're interested in the music fine same with me okay so here's what you do to it has the same wannabe things as the iPod the labels unfortunately they don't work the same to select the menu fine you hit menu please wait um, to select any track uh, let's see if I can even remember you I think hit menu again it brings you into things where you can actually okay, I don't know what that did um, okay shit okay let, let me uh, let me try to um, shit. get out of this okay here we go alright so this is not playing this is uh, you know the 
current setup. Um, you go to menu, you can delete things via hardware, which is nice. You have to go to the, the software to delete them on the iPod. You have to use iTunes, or you can have a plug-in on Winamp that'll do it as well. Uh, here you have different folders with your music. You cannot create playlists. Um, and so, uh, you know, you, you, you go in and uh, you, if you want a playlist with the same song on it, you have to have the same song in multiple places on your on your hard drive. So anyway, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Okay, so uh, let's go electronic and you hit menu rather than this. There we go. So let's go chicane. And I think you would then hit play. No. Um, it's play a different song. So when you go in there, you have to go to local folder, chicane, and then you hit menu again, not the center button to select it. Okay, and then to start playing, you press the center button. Now it plays. It comes with this cheese ball, completely, utterly fake um, uh, output. I forget what you call the thing. Um, it, it, it bears absolutely no resemblance to the music that is currently being played. It's utterly fake. Uh, why that just turned off, I don't know. I think, okay, that's just the uh, screensaver. Um, yeah, so pretty bad. It has these icons, you you know, uh, whatever. Uh, to adjust the volume, you press volume, and then you go through, and you click it, and then maybe you press volume again, I think. Then you stop it with the center button, I, I think. Yeah, there, it takes a little while. Okay, so again, the sad part is, the sound is really good. It, it's just the damn user interface just sucks so bad and I don't understand why I don't know why it's not that hard to create a user interface I wouldn't think I mean they got the hardware they were able to make this little item which is you know technically hardware wise almost as good as an iPod doesn't have the thing but you know for five times less what do you expect they even make all these other little gadgets that come with that I showed you before uh, so it's it's almost it's almost like uh, why did you bother doing this at all if you're not going to make a somewhat decent user interface? And so I think here's another thing. Uh, if it's playing, let's say play, uh, and you select uh, that, then you can use these, um, you know, various other options. Fine. Whatever. Um, you know, whatever. Now let's look at the iPod.